Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created a new Spring Boot application and after this, we wrote the code to connect our Spring Boot application with MySQL database. And in today's video, we will create activity entity with the repository and DTO. So let's get started. So in our Spring Boot application, first of all, we need to create entity package. And to do this, we will right click on this fitness server folder and after this we will choose new package and we will name this package as entity and after this we will right click on this entity package and we will choose new java class and we will name this class as activity and after this we will annotate this class with at the rate entity annotation from jakarta.persistence and after this we will add the annotation of data from lombok to reduce the boilerplate code and then we need to mention the properties for this entity and first of all we need to store the id so we will write private and the data type of this will be long and we will name this as id and after this to make it a primary key we will annotate this with at the rate id annotation and after this we need to give the generation logic so we will annotate this with at the rate generated value annotation and after this for the strategy we will set generation type dot identity and after the id we need to store the date so we will write private and the data type of this will be date and we will import it from java.util and we will name this as date and after the date we need to store the number of steps so we will write private and the data type of this will be int and we will name this as steps and after the steps we need to store the distance covered so we will write private and the data type of this will be double and we will name this as distance and after the distance we need to store the calories burned so we will write private and the data type of this will be int and we will name this as calories burned and with this our activity entity is completed now we need to create a repository and to do this we will right click on this fitness tracker server package and we will choose a new package and we will name this package as repository and after this we will right click on this repository package and we will choose new java class and we will name this class as activity repository and from the types we will choose interface and after this we will annotate this class with at the rate repository annotation and then we need to extend this interface from jpa repository so we will write extend and then we will mention jpa and we will import it from data.jpa.repository and in this we need to mention our entity and the data type of the id so for the entity we will give it as activity and we will import it from fitness entity. and after this for the id type we will give it as long and with this our activity repository is completed now we need to create activity dto and to do this we will again right click on this fitness tracker server package and we will choose a new package and we will name this package as dto and after this we will right click on this dto package and we will choose new java class and we will name this class as activity dto and after this we will annotate this class with at the rate data annotation from lombok to get the getters and setters and now let's open our activity entity and from this class we will copy this id date steps distance and calories burned properties and we will go back to activity dto and we will paste this here and with this our activity dto is completed as well now let's run our application And as you can see, our application is up on port 8080 without any errors. And in the logs, we can see one SQL query got executed, which is create table activity. And now let's open our MySQL workbench to verify this. And in the MySQL workbench, we will open fitness underscore tracker underscore DB. And after this, we will open the table drop down. And as you can see, we got one activity table. Now let's click on this icon to view the data in this table and as you can see for now we don't have any data in this table but we can confirm the columns and this table includes id, calories burnt, date, distance and steps. And that's it for today's video. In the next video we will create post activity API call in our Spring Boot application.